Next up is a fly named uh, Gandhi's Flip Flop. Now it may sound like a bit of a strange name, but uh, I can assure you after you've seen the the final result, you'll understand why uh, and that it is actually appropriately named. Um, it's a a very simple uh, but very eff uh, effective uh, Icelandic dry fly uh, for big brown trout. Um, really simple again, uh, pattern to tie. Hook size 10s to 14s. I've actually got a size 12 in the vise here, um, and I'm using uh, Vivas thread in 10O, uh, 10O, 12O, something like that. And you can use red, brown, doesn't really matter. Start off by securing the thread on the hook, take it down towards the bend. Now, the original body was, um, I'm pretty sure it was red seals fur. I actually prefer to use a fiery brown uh, seals fur in the body, but you know what, whichever takes your fancy. Uh, again, if you want to stick, stick with the original, it would be a red seals fur. I want the body to be relatively fine, but don't dub it too thinly either, because uh, you want it to be fairly straggly and buggy uh, and keep a lot more of that buoyancy whereas if you were to create too tight a rope with the seal's fur you're gonna basically eliminate a lot of the air that can get trapped in there start off quite thinly and then just build it up towards that thorax section there that's perfect so this is where the, the flip-flop part comes in and it's actually black foam, uh, three mil in depth and then I've cut, I've cut, I cut it around four mil uh, wide. And so all we do with this is bring it up, measure it that it finishes just past the bend. When you're happy, bring your thread up and over and take some strong securing turns just to trap it there. Um, Vivas is actually a round thread which isn't the best in fairness for working with foam. Uh, it can split it but most of the time you just get away with it. So that's fine. So that's pretty secure up there now. Next thing you want a, a, a couple of turns of hackle in that section and what we're using is just a red game uh, and it's literally just going to be a couple of turns nothing nothing too fancy just going to measure it up a bit longer than that let's find something a bit higher up on the cape okay perfect uh, i'm going to tie it in the finer stem at the tip so i'm just stripping away the waist at the base and then stroke all those hackle fibers back and create a tying in point so I've stri stroked all them back as you can see and then I'm just coming in there I'm gonna cut that just to get a tying in point so introduce that to the side couple of turns to secure it like so and then just take a couple of turns in between that groove that's it don't need more than that then take your hackle in underneath and you can secure it underneath that foam stroke everything back just to tidy up and then you can cut off the rest of that hackle there are some straggly ends uh, honestly if this was just a pattern I was taking fishing I wouldn't bother doing this but just for the sake of the video I will tidy these up not to make me look completely incompetent I am largely incompetent but not completely uh, so that's there that's so all we do now to finish off is just that little head section I'm leaving myself a bit of space there so all we do is uh, come in with the deer hair uh, sorry the uh, seal's fur again and you again you can use red uh, but I'm going to use 
fiery brown as per the body. So just create a, a little rope which will help you just to create a bundle behind that front section of foam. Don't, again, you can pick all of this out at the end if you wanted to in fairness. Don't, uh, but don't dub it too tightly. And create, create a little ball of deer hair there, which you can, again, if you want to, you can pick out. Bring your thread forward to the eye and tie off. And that's the end of the flight. That's all that's left to do after we've cut the the thread, cut that off, is cut the this section of foam and that section of foam should protrude just past the eye. So when you're pulling it forward look for a cutting off point just past the eye. And that's the fly finished. So that is Gandhi's flip-flop. So you can see a lot of this uh, loose deer hair in the Thor, uh, in the head section here or the thorax if you like and again you can pick a lot of that out uh, just to make it nice and leggy and buggy like so just a super effective pattern for uh, the Icelandic Icelandic trout but I'm sure it would work back home with this as well so tie a few up give them a go I hope they bring you luck. Tight lines.